Hello everyone, this is Kapit Aditya, your lovely host. Usually I make videos about food, culture and travel and I make short films and everything. I would like to show you a little bit about the corporate culture, the corporate life that I'm a part of. Basically it's an oil and gas exhibition happening in Baku, Azerbaijan. Companies from all around the world, oil and gas companies, they come here, put their stall and they basically exhibit and they interact with each other and uh, try to get new contacts. It's about networking, trying to get new suppliers, increase the product range, services and all of that. You will also see lots of university students who they either want an internship or they want to get a job at the end of the day. Our company is a distributor of a specific company called Panam Engineering. It's a company based in India. They have the factories there and all of that. What I'm going to show you today is basically the corporate life and the corporate culture and how people interact here and uh, so yeah, shall we? As you can see here, because the Baku Expo Center is located about 30 kilometers away from the city, you can get a taxi but it'll probably be a little bit more expensive. One of the first facility that Baku has provided is they have a Baku Expo Center bus. There is a specific bus that takes from the city center and straight to the Baku Expo Center. This is the ID card you get as an exhibitor, that's the company and that's my name and my position and where I'm from. So that's the information put onto the batch that you get. So that's the registration desk, I'll show you more. It's, there's like three registration desks. So if you're part of the company, a staff member, or you just want to come here and visit, they are the ones who register you and give you a free pass. So that's when you can go in. So the difference in registration desk is that this one is specifically for the exhibitors. This registration deck is specifically for the press registration. There's ATMs as well, so that's not an issue in case you're a foreigner and you require money urgently. So they have a wonderful facility here in case your mobile dies out and you don't have a charger. Actually, you can put it in the locker, get a charger, and you can take the key and go away with yourself. So it's going to be safe and sound and you can get your phone charged. That's where you get in the line, you get the food, the sa starting with the salad, soups, the main course and whatever you want, bread, drinks, and you can sit down. There's plenty of space here, you can see the holes are massive. There's further space all down there on the left. So yeah. So that's one of the entrances. The second one's over there. Those are the two main entrances to enter one hole. It's only on the ground floor. Hole number one in the front over there. And that's if you go further down, that's hole number two. Those are the old rigs and before the rigs are deployed into the sea, that's how they're made and that's how they're pushed further the ocean and that's how they're finally deployed.
what I meant. This is the hole number two, another entrance. That was where we came from. That's the hole number one. Now we should go to hole number two and I'll show you our stall itself. So, shall we? So, that's where we came from. Hole number one, entrance hole number one, and then hole number two. And take the first left, go straight ahead. I'll show you where our stall is. Take the right and you go straight ahead. There you go. That's Panam Engineers, the company that I was talking about. That's Titan Hydraulics. And uh, that's us. So Titan Hydraulics, where I work, and that's my dad's company. We are the distributor of the specific company called Hanam. Authorized distributor in Baku, Azerbaijan. Hanam, it's a manufacturing company in West State, Gujarat, in India. So, Atishka and Yanarda ke baad, see the exhibition? Yes. How is it? Exhibition is big. Uh, exhibition ka organization is big. Uh, Titan Hydraulics is big. <laughs> Thank you. Panam is big. Panam is big. And the most important thing is that Indian food is missing. One day is missing. So, that's the big thing. That's good. Salam Sahib. Waalaikum Salam. Salam Sahib Mellim, what do you want to say? I am saying to Panam, I am saying to Chitan, good luck for the business and inshallah next year, after next year, we will make more business. More business. Definitely, definitely. Inshallah. Inshallah, sir. Inshallah. Aap so this, yes, as I said, yes, good luck to Titan, good luck to Panam and next year and coming months we will do good business and uh, I hope with all people, with the team, we can surely do that. Sir. Very good exhibition. We hope next year we we will come here. We hope Jagdish Ji bhi aaye aagli baar. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Chaliye. Thank you. Thank you. So to explain you the idea of distributorship a little bit, in corporate world, distributor is when you have an exclusive TVT of that specific company and their product range within a specific region or country. So in Azerbaijan, uh, Panam, we are the exclusive distributorship. So whenever someone wants a certain price or has a quote request or wants to buy that product, they will contact in Azerbaijan to us. So every country has its own representative. So we are one of them. That's what distributor means. And that's exclusive distributorship. So within Azerbaijan, nobody else can uh, get the prices. They have to contact us. Then there's non-exclusive distributorship. For example, they give prices, certain companies in Dubai, but however, it's not limited to just one specific company. It might be for a specific region, but not one specific company. So, hello, what's your name? My name is Rosdabut Kadyakov. I represent the company Neftegas Complex AKZ. I will now present our new development. So, as you see this gentleman over here, what he's trying to explain is, is their new project which is related to remote controlled operated systems. For example, if there's an equipment malfunction at a specific oil and gas field, it's not always physically viable to be present there as a maintenance engineer. It could be due to various reasons such as extreme weather conditions. So what this software helps does is, if there is an equipment malfunction at a remote location, they can use this software in order to pinpoint that specific equipment and even as specific as pressing that button on and off to try to solve an issue or try to prevent a problem so that is what this is used for you cannot use it for the complete field but only to specific points where the software is connected to the physical equipment in that oil and gas field now coming to the virtual reality the virtual reality here is used for training purposes for maintenance engineers and the technicians it's not always possible to send the entry-level engineers right away to the field and trying to solve the issues and the problems. So before that, they go through the training and this virtual reality helps replicate the exact physical action such as they can even use that to walk at point A to point B, the amount of distance they have to cover, where they have to take the turn, where they have to maybe even bend down or walk over some other pipe and be careful with that. And even as simple action as turning a screwdriver, that is also used to replicate that physical action. So when they're actually at the field trying to pro solve an issue, this training helps them do it as a certain uh, like a muscle memory sort of thing. 
So that is, this is what this software that they have and this tech, new technology that they have helps in uh, improving the efficiency and the safety of the maintenance engineers. Yeah, so that's it from today. I, this was a vlog to show you what the oil and gas exhibition is, where it is located, how it is and how the certain companies are. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.